Hi guys, I'm Garen. I'm JD. And this is Investigating Comic Club, where we chronologically read, review, discuss, and rate specific crucial stories of the medium. Indeed, and we hope that you guys will subscribe to become misfit members of Comic Club yourselves. Share your own opinions of the story in the comments below. Stick around till after our conversation for our episodic comic quality poll, as well as after the Misfit Picture Show's logo for any potential bloopers that the episode could provide. Mr. Garen? Yes. Tonight we are doing X-Force number seven by Percy Balzaldua and Guru Effects. Um, I would like to take a little moment to congratulate Mr. Garen, who had his first on-stage comedy set. I did. At I the did. comedy club. I did, guys. In Hollywood, I California. Did. Well did. done, Mr. Garen. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you guys know that Garen is a comic. I am. So X Force number seven. Cool little cover by Domino <gasps> of Domino here. And it's a perfect cover for I think this issue. Yeah. With the actually, title yeah, and really cool. how it plays out. Mm -hmm. Because the title is Domino Has Fallen. Mm -hmm. So fun. Domino yeah. Fallen. Yeah, really cool. And then how Domino loses her luck right right uh it's i don't know it's just i i don't know if i'm just a sucker for these some of these things i mean it's funny like i enjoy it i'm having fun reading it even when i don't understand half the some of the things <laughs> which then makes me go back in and go okay who was that person how is that connected mm. but just even like this whole like mercenary kind of just shooting it off mm. like killing people one by one talking about mm -hmm. it play by play yeah that's a really cool opening and it's did you ever see the movie Magnolia? Yes. You know how it starts with, you couldn't believe this story. No, that couldn't have yeah. happened. Yeah, no, yeah. You know, it kind of was like that. It was, yeah. And he, Benjamin Percy, he he is a damn fine storyteller. Yeah. I think at this point, we're six, this is the seventh issue. Yeah. He has been focused on a certain set characters. Yep. We care about them all. Certain characters did not appear in this issue, but we get to spend time with the always intriguing Sage. Mm -hmm. We get to spend time not only with Domino, but within her thoughts. Yep. And the tech pages. I know I was feeling a little unhappy with that they weren't from a specific POV yeah. in earlier and now issues. It's with now it's based, based you yeah. know, and also forges a little bit yeah. in there. Like, I just think it's... Super efficient storytelling. He's really, really yeah. doing a good job. I mean, yeah. I'm I didn't want to take notes because I just wanted to no, read the comic. Yeah. I didn't take a lot, and I was just reading it. And my first thought was, what did you think of Colossus? <laughs> of that shot? <laughs> I. What did you, just in general, <laughs> of Colossus? Like When I flipped this, ov o this issue open, and it was... It showed who the cast was, and it was Sage, right. oh, yeah. Domino, and mm -hmm. Colossus. I actually got a little bit nervous because the last issue of X Force, I was a little underwhelmed because Beast, I felt like he was a straight up villain and I didn't know what was going on. Mm -hmm. This issue, I think, I think it actually might be the Dark Beast, who's this alternate Age of Apocalypse timeline kind yeah, of beast. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of threw that out there last time. Like, yeah. he doesn't now feel like that. But actually, so I was a little nervous seeing those characters because they are like, they're too beloved to me. I shouldn't be connected to characters like that that mm -hmm. are not real. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very healthy. That's when you turn into Kathy Bates. But, you know, and whatever. You go, like, yeah, and yeah. You go, How this is where you? I get my storytelling inspiration. Yeah. So these characters are really near and dear to me. Mm -hmm. I have been missing and wondering about Colossus for the past several issues. Last time we saw him, he was not in a happy place. Mm -hmm. It was great to just see him painting. Yeah. That he was in armor and Domino comes up and it's kind of a sensitive moment between them. Like, oh, how are you? And they say the same thing at the same time. It's kind of charming. Mm -hmm. They don't quite know how to approach each other. It's a little maybe more intimate and yeah. personal than... They either... E yep. Yeah. But the things they say, it's so human. Yeah. Very human moments oh, yeah. in these... This Benjamin Percy, he... He really, like, he's a great storyteller on all the levels. Yeah. There's a guy assassinating in the first few pages, and it's cool, and it's exciting, and 
you're intrigued. Yeah. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. Like, what great concepts. Like, well, this assassin did what now? That is lucky. And yeah. then it's Sage and Domino. Like, and it's this. I just saw, I mean, I've seen the trailer, but seeing the trailer for Black Widow hmm. made me, again, even watch it when I sat through it and watched it the first time. I was like, oh, this is great. Watched it the second time. After now reading these, hmm. I'm like, gosh, imagine if we just had a Domino movie. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. or even like this style of yeah. mercenaries. Yeah, no, it's, she, she really is an awesome character. Mm-hmm. And I actually thought um, ZZ Beats, I don't know I don't what her know. name is, or, but I thought that she did a very, very good job mm-hmm. and enjoyed her performance. Marvel, they just got a wealth of amazing yep. characters. Yeah. They're coming out with three movies a year. Yeah. Four, if you think about the X-Men movies yep. and the yep. Spider-Man mm-hmm. movies and all these others. I mean, but it's like new mutants doesn't even look like new mutant. Like it mm. doesn't look like besides them having powers, doesn't even look like a, like a Marvel universe, Marvel universe, movie, universe what movie. We're used to yeah. they're throwing in the horror. And that's very appropriate. If you've read certain of the mm-hmm. comics, but that's one of the great things that I think the Marvel movies can do. You know, Doctor Strange was a bit dull for me, mm-hmm. but they had all the elements in place. Now there's a rumor that Sam Raimi might be directing the sequel. Hmm. And that like injection of quirky, bizarre Sam Raimi style yeah. could be just the thing that that movie needs. Mm-hmm. You know, you have the Winter Soldier where it's like a spy movie and the Marvel Captain America movie. Here, Percy is doing so many different titles, so many different. Mm-hmm. genres within I'm looking one. looking forward to it. Yeah. And he is really doing them yep. all justice. Like that moment, I could have sat for an entire issue with Peter and yeah. Domino on the beach. Yeah. No, it like you it goes back to what you said as far as simple yet real dialogue mm. from her even before she gets there talking about Forgetting your history. No, yeah. Forget, yeah. Resurrection mm-hmm. has made it possible to choose a future self that's unburdened by the past, yeah. a scarless existence, and then for her to go. Mm-hmm. But sometimes we only really remember and appreciate our history if it comes with a scar. Mm-hmm. Like that wrote, gave me goosebumps when I read that, and I even wrote that down. I was like, that's yeah. awesome because it is true. Like, it's very, what would you do? Yeah. What would we be if we're even mm-hmm. seeing it <laughs> as the world, as a culture, as anything? Mm-hmm. And you take it from a comic where it's just like, yeah, we wish for perfection, but that doesn't exist, and you don't grow without your battle scars. Absolutely. You know, so. Absolutely. And how appropriate for her, visually, physically, yeah. half mm-hmm. a person, mm-hmm. literally scarred. Yeah. You kind of get a sense that there is some magic between Pete and her. Mm-hmm. And you feel like you would never think of Domino as an insecure character, but just as like maybe she is attracted to Peter. Yeah. You feel yeah. like maybe mm-hmm. even she's insecure, like she must feel like, mm-hmm. does she feel ugly? Yeah. Well, it's that connection of like, I understand you. I get that you don't want mm-hmm. to take down your guard, but know that mm-hmm. you can. But I also know you don't, you're mm. not going to, you know, like, but then he does, but then he does immediately. I mean, yeah. Which, which is, is awesome. You know, see. that says a lot. Mm-hmm. And this is a visual storytelling yep. medium. And that one panel where his armor is gone mm-hmm. and then he touches her with his skin. Yep. Skin. Yep. And but you understand on her understand. scarred side, mm-hmm. there's just a lot of beauty in yep. that. Mm-hmm. A lot of beauty in that. <laughs> and then we're in kind of like a James Bond s- skiing sequence. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> Chase scene. It's really cool, man. It's really cool. The guy shoots her board in half. Uh, the yeah. next panel, she's like... <laughs> no, yeah, it just jumps. Because you go straight from feeling his feelings of being like, are you all right? No, we both know we're not all right with our past because we wouldn't be sitting here at 2 a.m. not able to sleep. You know, here, 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 yeah. here. You know, like like those feelings, and we've all been there. Where you're like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, and then you're up at two a.m. lost in your thoughts of your emotions of what happened that week, that day, and so, and then for so it you're in this comic book of these two characters of a girl who's half her body is half half mach- like co like 
tree. tree yeah. <laughs> and then you have, yeah, you just, it's that experience, but it still makes it so real where you're like connected to it. And you, you remember how I was concerned with the rage Colossus coming back mm -hmm. and the idea of him being such a simple character of essentially the tin man who doesn't think that he has a yeah, heart. Yeah. He armors down and has such a touching yeah. heartfelt moment mm -hmm. with her. I'm very grateful for this comic. That is, that is the stuff of inspiration for me. Yeah. Like that's the storytelling yeah, type yeah. of way that is just, mm -hmm. it, it, it's inspired. Yeah. It's inspired and inspiring. Yeah, and like, you, and then, like you said, we go straight from that moment, jump into a little bit of that tech page with Beast's scrap of paper logbook, mm -hmm. and then into Priest. Right, another assassination. Another assassination, and then being like... And that guy's the cult of yeah. X. Yeah. All of these assassinations are people that are pro-mutant at one point of their lives. Yeah. And they are trying to figure out who's doing it. Yeah, that's a really cool reveal at the end. A negative domino, essentially. Yeah, because the leading up to it with them being like chasing them down and then going and then, the, yeah, like you said, whole Mission Impossible, James snowboarding, Bond. James Bond, <laughs> jumping through things. Like, it was fun. Like, you just jump right in and you are along for the ride. Like, it's like <laughs> shooting each other and like... Her arm, of course, turns into a gun, and then keeps. And then they show up at a casino. Casino, and then you're like, "What's going on? Well, everybody looks the same." And you have just the ram lady, and then <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Here's your luck, and it's like, "What can I say? Luck is on my side." And you see this, like you said, negative domino, and I'm like, "Ooh!" I was like, "Was she created from a portion of?" Yeah, that's what I'm that's feeling. What it is right. She was cloned from yep. that that. Mm -hmm piece of domino yeah. that was which, cut from her which is funny that you say negative mm -hmm. i didn't think negative which mm. is a great word to describe it it's right, just she's a negative she's a negative image the next issue of this comic uh -huh. is called inverted oh cool yeah cool so yeah that's that's what the decoding is at the back of this of this issue is inverted i like it and on the cover we have Peter, Colossus, and Domino back to back on the cover of of the next issue. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember seeing that image. Mm -hmm. God, it feels like months yeah. and months ago. This is such a tight team. These are two. Yeah, I. Uh. As you, as a brand new reader to X Men, mm -hmm. I think. And I again in our previous episode, I mentioned how I'm really starting to feel that excitement again with Hickman's. But as far as a team that I care about, with you as a brand new reader, like these, this is the team that I care the most about. These are the characters that I feel most invested in yeah. at this point. Yeah. How do you feel about these characters that many of these characters, even in the movies, you really haven't seen or spent much time with? This is just brand new for you, seventh issue. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How are you feeling about this comic? Uh, series. I, I, yeah, for this series, I feel, even with me reading past X-Force stuff, mm. not really being able to dive that much. I mean, you still have your domino. That's pretty much it. You know? But other than that, I don't, you don't, I'm not jumping in. I don't know Forge. Right. You know? I don't know. You haven't spent much time with Colossus or nope. Beast or definitely Sage. I haven't, yeah, Beast. Black Tom Cassidy, <laughs> yeah. uh, Domino, Gene, Gene a little bit, um, Logan. Who's right. the other one? What's his name? The with the glasses. Who? Oh, Quentin Quire. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm not didn't really have anything jumping into it where mm -hmm. I knew about them, and yet I'm still intrigued and excited when they're when they have a little bit of a issue that pertains to each one of them more. Cool. Domino is still writing it out where I'm like, oh, this is cool. Like, mm. it's, it is, uh, even though it's funny how Gene is part of, is technically mm -hmm. the head of it. Mm -hmm. If you really pull back, it's not who we see, mm -hmm. but she still is kind of because she has the power she has. Right. It's kind of like the and savior she's on the of it. You know, like, yeah, she's the, she's almost like, I don't even know how to. 
I would say her and Beast are kind of the heads yeah. of it, really. Yeah. I guess you would say. Yeah, and that's but but when you think back, but if I were to like right away, oh, who's the first person you think of when you think of this line of X Force? You go, oh, Domino. Which is really cool, and again, very efficient storytelling by Benjamin Percy because for the first two issues, mm-hmm. and again, there's only seven issues. Yeah. The first two issues, she was barely in it because she no, was yeah. captured yeah. and it was dissected. Crazy. Yep. That reveal but now it at feels the first like issue she's and everything. A, yep. she's the, she does feel like she's the heart of mm. the team at this point. Yeah, and I keep having to remind myself this is issue seven, you know, like forgetting that it feels like an issue six or it feels like a like it doesn't, that's how good it is where it mm. seems like I've read less mm. than we actually have or like just how much is in, how much I have read. It's like I just shouldn't be this still intrigued. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just really loading yeah. so much to sink your teeth into mm-hmm. in every issue. Yeah. And I think if Percy stays on, like, it, can't you see 25 issues? Like, if he does, like, a 25-issue run, mm-hmm. don't you feel like that? Like, regardless of what's happening around here and yeah. all this other stuff, I just feel like he's going to tell a very great story. And, I, yeah. The art wasn't, it was a bit of a disappointment that Kassara and Dean White, that that's two issues that were missing them in a row. Oh, yeah. Um, but regardless, the character work, the story, the fun, the heart of this issue, it's another A for me. Yeah. Yeah. I give it an A as well. I give it an A, so it's. It, because it's the the art is st- was still fun, you know. It wasn't Kasara, but yeah, it was good still. Artist. I did like the art. I did like the coloring. It's they were on the same page. Some of those panels and some of like Colossus and stuff. Mm. It's just like wow, that is. It's fun to. I would totally print that off. Mm. Um, and then to see for that reveal to be mm-hmm. the beautiful mm-hmm. character design. Yeah, it's. I want to see them. I hope there's a cover of them going head to head. You right. know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like I, yep. that's mm-hmm. that's really yeah. cool. I'm pretty intrigued. Like I hope this gets a big enough of a thing that come Comic Con we see people possibly dressing up <sighs> as that. You know? Yeah. Where it's like, oh, I know what you are. Mm-hmm. Not everybody's gonna probably know, but it's yeah. the ones who do know. Yeah, I agreed that I would love to see actually a duo yeah. of them. Yep. yep. That would be really cool. Yeah. So uh, let us know what you guys think in the comic quality poll, A, B, C, D, or F. And uh, tell us why and what you feel in the comments below. Conversate. Indeed. Thanks for joining us, guys. To be continued.